Well, so glad to have you along on this alert day. Pretty clear reason why we issued that alert day early Sunday morning. Get you ahead of these widespread storms that really have barreled the area. We've got numerous reports of high winds, wind damage, power outages, and reports in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour. The storms did organize themselves as we expected. We were watching that line. Southern Michigan racing across northwest Ohio. And they've picked up some speed and now are exiting the southern extent of our viewing area. So no active severe risk in the Toledo Metro, at least for the time being being still some more overnight storms. We'll take you down to the south, though, where we do have the active severe weather risk. Uh, some counties still under severe thunderstorm warning. Check this out across Putnam County in particular. We had 60 to 75 mile per hour winds that rolled through Putnam County and high winds uh, anywhere from Lipsick, where we had a report of 75 miles per hour down toward Ottawa, 60 mile per hour winds and reports all across Ottawa of widespread power outages and a wind gust of 66 in Finley, nearly 70 down toward Arlington. Heavy rain from Upper Sandusky right along Route 30 toward Bucyrus, where the severe weather is now moving off to the east. And there was a really strong storm that worked through a wide out in Crawford County, bringing 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. And that worked right out of Upper Sandusky along Route 30. And I do expect continued storms east of Toledo over toward Erie and Huron County, where we've got an active severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Erie and Huron County down into southern Huron County. That in effect until midnight tonight and still some strong storms in Eastern Crawford County. Quick slice through this. This is the storm that was producing severe weather moments ago with winds in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour. It's left a path of damage and destruction. And look at this all across northwest Ohio and southern Michigan and back over toward northeastern Indiana as well. This is wave number one working through. Wave number two is something else that we're watching. We've got team coverage on that. We'll turn it over to meteorologist John Birchfield. And John, wave number two could also pack a punch, but brings a new risk to the area as well. Yeah, Chris, we've got our eyes to the north on more heavy rain as well as the strong wind threat developing across central Michigan. Heavy rain could lead to localized flash flooding, especially on top of the inch to two inches many of you have already gotten. Here it is, round two of heavy rain from Grand Rapids all the way towards Lansing, stretching towards the thumb of Michigan. And the Storm Prediction Center is considering issuing another watch for this region that's moving from northwest to southeast in the direction of those arrows and will clip our southern Michigan counties. This region shaded in the red is where the primary risk for another strong to severe storm exists overnight tonight between midnight to 5 a.m. We'll watch that second round. A few could be strong to severe, but it is really that heavy torrential rain that'll be the biggest impact. The ground is already saturated and soaked and any additional rainfall is going to exacerbate that localized flooding. Be sure to check that WTOL 11 weather app. We'll send you any alerts that do come up, including watches and warnings, and you can also keep an eye on radar for the latest on the rainfall. And Chris, after tonight, our attention turns from the storms to the heat. Summer is on this week. It is. And let me make a very clear point as well, John. We were kind of worried about this with the people and uh, folks losing power tonight. The heat the next couple days is going to be exceptionally difficult to deal with. So uh, take care of a friend and take care of a neighbor if you're able to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, widespread wind damage. Here comes the heat that's going to be expected to build. 90 is going to be ahead as we get into the week ahead. In fact, could head toward triple digit record shattering heat. And let me show you building tomorrow. Depending on where you are, there's many areas down toward Putnam and Hancock County that are without power. We could go into the mid to upper 90s. Sweltering heat and humidity could feel like 105 to 110. Considerably cooler near the Lake Erie shore. And then as we get into Wednesday, we all feel the sweltering heat and humidity. Mid to upper 90s, in fact, could head toward 100. 100 degrees and we've issued an alert day for Wednesday. If we reach 100, not only are we going to shatter a record high, it'll be the hottest day that you have felt in over a decade across the area. Extended 10 day forecast got the alert day for Wednesday for the heat and humidity. In fact, the next three days going to be hot and sticky. So those without power, they may have an exceptionally difficult time. So if you do know somebody, please reach out and give them a hand near 100 Wednesday. That'd be the earliest we've ever recorded 100 in Toledo's history if we reach it. Mid 90s Thursday and we cool back nicely Friday, Saturday, Sunday into the low 80s with bright sunny skies into the weekend ahead. Melissa, back over to you.